what I want to do today is show you how to mount our drip rail on a glass door that is mounted against the wall or against the panel. They're virtually the same thing. What I want to start with is letting you know that you can't really even position the drip rail because you can't, you can't get past this but you could actually do it with a panel but not against the wall so I guess having a pivot here or having hinges on the wall is one of the more difficult things to face in mounting our drip rail but it's not as difficult as it first appears all we have to do is figure out how far out we want it and on this one about that far when it comes in we want it to be at least an inch away from the edge of the tub. So let's take this right to two inches. And so all we're going to do is take a pair of scissors. We're going to flatten this little piece out right here. And so put my finger on where it's going to be. And all I'm going to do is make a straight cut. And I'm going to cut it right up to the apex. It's going to be mounted against the glass. Unfortunately, when we mount it, I'm either going to have to leave this piece of wax paper coating on the adhesive or we'll peel it off and put a piece of clear cellophane or something on it just so it won't be sticky anymore. We've started by cutting it straight. I'm going to bend that so it makes it go right up to the apex and the bottom piece, the short piece, is going to fold and come under the, the long piece and it's a little bit more difficult to to continue the bends, we have to make another cut. I hope you can see this. I'm going to make another cut right here. Okay. And I'm going to just pull that out. And now we'll, we should be able to get right in there and bend it over. There we are. So if the door swings in or if the door swings out, we've got enough material here. To, um, to handle all the runoff. Now this piece right here is sticking out a little too far so now we can go in and we can trim that back a bit. We don't have to trim it that much. Okay, so we've got that piece trimmed back. Now we'll bend those pieces back. So now, there, we were able to. Okay, so if this were against the wall when the door opens, it'll still drain everything to the tub. If you decide you want to swing the door in, you have ample space to do that as well. Where we bent this, right here, we're going to take that beyond the edge by, oh, about a quarter of an inch or so, because usually there's a half inch gap between the glass and the wall, and there's usually a half inch gap between the glass and the top of the tub or the top of the, of the pan. So all we have to do is position this and we've got this piece of material this is plastic but works the same as glass it's a little bit long so we'll end up having to trim that off we can either trim it now if we trim it now it might be easier so let me just take a marker and I'll just mark that right there we have to always flatten this piece out before we do any cutting and I'm just going to cut it straight up for now we have another panel on this end, trim that on an oval like that. And I always like to make sure that there's no sharp edges. This one, we can just trim that sharp edge off right there. So now, all we do is peel the adhesive off. And I'm going to stop right at the bend here. This is going to be about a half inch or so above the base on one end, and a, a good inch and a half above. You don't have to be precise. I'm just going to tack it down for now. We'll put this up. So when this pivots, it will pivot straight open. And then when it pivots this way, it'll allow that to bend and it'll still cover. For those who think that your shower door should hang on the inside, you can still do that. Okay, that's all we need. And this piece, I'm just going to tear that off and leave that there for now. So if this were pivoting, you can have it open. And when it closes, if you want it to close, it will close and the whole door will hang right over the bathtub like normal. Now, when water comes down this tray, it will just continue, it will catch onto here and continue to drain off. That's all we need. And that will make sure nothing comes out on that end. 
That's all there is to it. This needs 24 to 72 hours to set and dry. If it had a pain or something on this side, by trimming that off, it allows this to arc right over. It's not perfectly square, so that's all there is to it. It opens like this, and when it closes, it'll close like that and cover every bit of it. But that's all there is to it. So at least now, you can keep the door wide open, wide open would be about there. If that's in too far, you can always just move it out a little bit. So it's not an issue. So there, that's how that's done.